affliction is the universal experience of humanity in this fallen world. Yeah. It may be the affliction of sexual temptation. It may be the uh, affliction of being radically sinned against. It may be the affliction of physical illness, but we will we all face this almost endless catalog of afflicting experiences. I don't want to be tempted to lust. That's that that afflicts me. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think it's important to understand Paul is really broadening the field of the discussion when he says every way. Mm -hmm. But listen, listen to the words that follow. We're afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Now, if I, if I say you're going to face affliction, you're going to be crushed, you're going to be perplexed, you're going to despair, and you're going to be persecuted. Oh, oh, by the way, you'll also be struck down. You would say, then where is protecting grace? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that would be natural to say that. Yeah. But then he says, afflicted in every way, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. So here's protecting grace. It's not a ticket out of trouble. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's God holding you up in trouble. Yeah, yeah. God doing for you what you would not be able to do yourself. It's God saying, I'm not going to lose this child of mine because they're under affliction right now. I'm going to meet them and I'm going to give them by my surpassing power what they would not have by themselves. 